Good afternoon. France requested a close consultation on Gaza today. As you know, the situation in the Gaza Strip is catastrophic. We call for the full and immediate implementation of Resolution 2728. Against this background, France is convinced that the Security Council should live up to its responsibilities. The two humanitarian resolutions tabled by Malta and the United Arab Emirates paved the way. The elected member, the E10 resolution, was a turning point a week ago. This Council needs to do more. It cannot wait any longer. This is why France will introduce a comprehensive draft resolution today. The French Foreign Minister, Stéphane Sejourné, was in Cairo on Saturday to discuss our efforts with his Egyptian and Jordanian counterparts. He also consulted Israel and the Palestinian Authority, Algeria and Saudi Arabia. First, this draft resolution deals with the most pressing matters. It calls for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza without a time limitation. It also demands the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. It condemns the terrorist attacks by Hamas that took place on October 7, and it demands an immediate and full humanitarian access. Second, our draft resolution addresses the reconstructions, recovery, and governance of the Gaza Strip. Most importantly, it stresses the importance of the effective re-establishment of the control of the Gaza Strip by the Palestinian Authority. Finally, third, the Council must address the root causes of this crisis. It must urge the intensif intensification of international efforts for the achievement of comprehensive, just, and peaceful solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The ongoing crisis has shown that a negotiated solution should be achieved urgently through decisive and irreversible measures toward a two-state solution. France believes that it's no high time to adopt a comprehensive approach in order to end the ongoing crisis in Gaza, allow a de-escalation in the region, and to ensure that no October 7 can never happen again. Thank you. Ambassador, when do you hope to see this draft to a vote? And what feedback have you had so far from the United States? Well, uh, we are just starting. It's an ambitious project. It will take time. We need to consult everyone in the Security Council, outside of the Security Council. We need to consult, but we need also to convince everyone around the table. You know Article 27 of the Charter. You need uh, nine votes or more. You need to avoid negative votes from permanent members. So we'll take... Uh, uh, all necessary time, but I don't think we will procrastinate neither. Monsieur l'ambassadeur, je vais vous poser une question en français. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire en quelques mots, s'il vous plaît, quel est l'objet de cette résolution Qu'est-ce que vous demandez dans cette résolution Et en combien de temps, je sais, mais c'est en français, et en combien de temps vous pensez qu'elle peut être mise au vote, sachant que la résolution du, du cessez-le-feu euh, temporaire se termine avec le ramadan le 10 avril Exactement. Donc la résolution 27-28 à une semaine, c'est une résolution qui propose un cessez-le-feu pour le ramadan. Euh, le ramadan expire dans une semaine. Donc la résolution française que je vais présenter euh, couvre trois volets. Le premier, c'est l'urgence, un cessez-le-feu permanent, l'accès humanitaire, la libération des otages, la condamnation de, de l'attaque du Hamas. Donc c'est le premier volet. Le deuxième volet touche à la reconstruction de Gaza, l'autorité palestinienne, le jour après à Gaza, le rôle des Nations Unies. Donc ça touche à la question de Gaza après cette crise. Et la, la troisième dimension de cette résolution vise en gros à relancer un processus politique devant déboucher sur la solution des deux États. Donc c'est un texte ambitieux et on prendra le temps qu'il faut pour qu'il soit adopté. Je ne m'attends pas à ce qu'il soit mis au vote dans les jours qui viennent. Aussi, on a eu des nouvelles par le, le Guardian dit que Israël euh, demande à l'ONU de changer le système de l'UNRWA euh, et de trouver une alternative à la distribution, à la distribution de l'aide. Est-ce que vous en avez en eu vent et surtout, est-ce qu'à votre avis, il est bienvenu avant les rapports euh, qui ont été commandés par euh, l'ONU euh, d'audit euh, de faire une, de telles recommandations 
euh, en ce qui nous concerne, on attend les résultats des deux audits qui ont été demandés avec euh, beaucoup de justesse par le secrétaire général. Ils arriveront fin avril. Il y a un audit interne, un audit externe. On regardera euh, le contenu des audits et surtout les, les mesures qui seront euh, mises en œuvre. Dernière question, last question. The ceasefire you're asking for, you're asking for immediate ceasefire, is it permanent? And secondly, you're asking for the, I heard the Palestinian Authority, are you uh, suggesting that the Palestinian Authority will take the administration of Gaza, is that has been agreed, has been discussed, and which um, uh, Palestinian Authority we're talking about, is it this one or possibly a reformed one in the future? And thirdly, the move towards a two-state solution. Do we have solid um, steps engraved, or just? Well, uh, on the first one, uh, we move to. We want to move to a permanent ceasefire. I think my minister was in Cairo this weekend with the uh, prime minister of Egypt and Jordan, and this is what the three of them asked, and this is what we are looking at. Number two, Gaza. No. We'll see, but uh, I think uh, we cannot just go for a Ramadan ceasefire. Uh, we go. We need to. Uh, perma we need to move to a permanent solution. Number two, Gaza. Uh, we need to discuss and we need to make sure that uh, the Palestinian Authority uh, will be uh, in charge uh, at a certain moment. I think so. This is the the plan. And number three, uh, you just the peace process. We have a lot of uh, parameters who have been decided uh, uh, over the last uh, 60 years, basically now, almost 60 years. So we need to uh, implement international law, of course. We have a lot of resolution uh, on, on this one, uh, adopted by all Security Council members, otherwise they will not be there. Uh, and, uh, and the two-state solution has been also reiterated in 2003 with resolution 1515 at the Uh, initiative of the U.S. Uh, so uh, everybody should be uh, okay with that. I think and, uh, when you listen to public statements, everybody is supporting the two-state solution. So I think now it needs to be implemented. Uh, now it's for the parties also to discuss and to negotiate. So we need to help the parties to find common ground and to find a common solution. Okay, thank you.